Hey, how's it going everyone? Right in the eye here. Back to you guys with another video. And in this video, we're taking a look at the software end of the um, new Corsair uh, Strafe RGB Silent Switch Keyboard. Today, we're taking a look at some of the lighting aspects and how you can assign different keys and things like that. So, I'm going to... This is the one that I created here. So, I turned all the key backlights to white. But then at the same time, I changed some of the particular keys that I really wanted to be a certain color. I put them red. So as you can see here, I put the WASD buttons, the space bar, the arrow keys, and 2, 4, 6, and 8 on the numpad, red. This one I did not designate red. It is just that color by the default. That is the Windows key. So if I change it actually on the keyboard, it turns it to blue. That has nothing to do with... The software, you can't change that color manually, but I'll show you something else that you can do. And I also changed the Corsair logo up in the left corner of your keyboard. I turned that red as well, which is really nice. So, anyway, let's let's make a new profile here. So, let's do it here. Let's make it, let's just call it Strafe RGB. Here we go. So, you just click between these ones. This is Now, my, all my keys are off on my keyboard. Now, they're all at the setting. So, let's go here. Let's just click this. And let's make every key. You just... You can also turn on, there's like these little uh, hint lights on the left side and right side, and you use this to uh, turn them off and on, but they are only white. You can't change them RGB. They're just white. So I leave those on. So you just highlight anything that you want, just dragging over this blue uh, box here. And I see, I realize that it highlights these ones here, but you can't actually manually change those colors, so I'll pick green, and then you'll see that they're all green. And then I can go in and change it to purple or whatever I want. So, to actually get some of the effects going on we can go into the lighting effects here uh, click on this little arrow you can go down here and drop down box and we'll do type light uh, lightning type here we go so ripple effect so now the Q-Link software is enabled so now I have alternating between red and blue on medium when I hit OK so now if I start typing on the keyboard it will start doing the different colors so I'll do red on the left and blue on the right so red and blue and then they merge and go across red blue pretty sweet blue red and then as you can see it does light up this color here whatever color it is see what i'm saying so when you have an effect like this it bleeds over into these two colors so i'll show you this i'll turn it to blue and you see even pressing even pressing um these keys creates the ripple effect which is really interesting but it doesn't work you can't manually set it to that color it just ripples over it because they do have their distinct color that they need to be um, anyway, so um, and and you can change the brightness levels as you can see there. So it's changing up and down. So let's show you some other things here. Let's show you um, the spiral rainbow is always a given. Which is pretty see, see even that one doesn't bleed over. Only ripple effects actually bleed over. And I told you this color actually changes as well. So let's see here. I can change the um, the effects of this as well. I can make it change counterclockwise, make it go faster, slower. So we'll slow it down. Um, let's see what else we got here. Let's change this. I can change it between different colors as it goes back and forth, or it can just be random, which is pretty cool. Um, rain is one of my favorite ones. Let's see if we can change anything there. Make it, yeah, see, there we go. It could be random, or you can actually select two different colors, which is really nice. So let me just let me just try that for you guys. There we go. And apply. Now it's just going to raid red and blue. Pretty sweet. And in there you'll see purple because red and blue does make purple, obviously. Um, color shift. And as I said, it will go between different colors. You can actually switch it. And you have a whole color wheel here. So if you, you make sure that you can't change any of these colors here if you don't have it disabled. So you're going to have to go over to um, this setting here and go to desynchronize. And then you can start changing your background colors. So let's highlight them. Make them all black. Turn them off. Highlight them again. Make them all red. Um, pink. Pretty cool. Purple. And then a different kind of red. One's, a dip, one's brighter, one's darker. It's interesting. Okay. And um, some of the other things you can do, you can assign different keys. You can put them whatever you want. As you can see here. Um, there are profiles that you can select for that as well. Go over to your lighting and you can import and export different lightings. Um, settings here, I would make sure that you um, put the behavior on maximum. And then also, let me see here, where is it? Uh, 
hell is it? Oh, so, oh, device. Sorry, there we go. And I do have the uh, M65 RGB mouse. But make sure that you have the polling rate on whatever speed you like. I like one millisecond. So it does it as fast as possible. They don't have any firmware updates for it yet. So, um, well, obviously it has the newest firmware. So that's good. And then you can change the performance. I don't know what that means exactly, but you can change how it performs with the locking keys and stuff like that. So I can disable this and enable that. And then um, they all, you have two different modes. So you have this mode and that mode. So clone to other modes and profile, which is pretty cool. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. And you can create as many modes as you want. You can import them, export them. The keyboard does have its own memory. Uh, chip on it so it can save up to I don't remember like 20 megabytes of storage maybe five or something like that so you can save quite a bit of profiles on there all right guys this has been Rhett in the eye here back to you guys with this video and uh, oh like I said you could just let me just show you one more thing um, you can click on any key that you want and change it whatever color you want so I can turn that one purple turn this one green I could turn it blue it doesn't matter. You can change it whatever you want. Just pretty cool. All right, guys. This has been Right in the Eye here. Back to you guys with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more computer videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.